few benefits of choosing a trunnion style 5 axis machine over that of a swivel head for example might be better undercut capabilities. What we mean by that is typically a swivel head machine is limited to 90 degrees of rotation of the head usually in both directions whereas a trunnion style machine at least one direction allows more than 90 degrees of rotation giving me the ability to reach up underneath a flange, underneath the edge of a part, or get that angled hole that may point down towards the table in, in some manner. Another benefit would be a larger work volume. With the part being rotated underneath the spindle, and with the z-axis and spindle always being vertical, once that part is rotated into position and clamped, we then have the full travel of the machine in X and Y to use in the machining envelope. On a swivel head machine, if you would picture a part on the table, as I rotate the head 90 degrees, bringing that tool down to, we'll say, the left side of the part, you can see that the longer the tool, the more the x-axis is going to have to move out of the way to allow for that tool to come down next to the part. Once I've positioned into the desired location, I only then have the remaining x-axis of travel available to me, giving me a much more limited work volume. Another benefit would be more torque at low RPM. Usually on a swivel head type machine, because of the nature of the moving head, we can't have a belt driven spindle. Therefore, it is usually an integral spindle, giving us a usually a higher horsepower rating for the spindle, but much lower torque until you've reached RPM. So on the low end, lower RPMs, we don't have the torque that is available on a trunnion style machine which, because the head stays vertical, is typically can either be geared or driven by belts and pulleys. 